trying to be a teacher. What do you think? Is that, is that like a teacher? What do you think, Mayor? Could I be a teacher someday? Well, you certainly know how to be in charge of things. Yeah. Yeah. Like I can go, class, shh. Don't you think I do that well? You tell people what to do very well. Okay, now I'm telling you. Bye, guys. I have children here to answer. Mm. Hey. We have Miss, Mrs. Lynch's class. It's a third grade class. Am I right? Yes. Mrs. Lynch's third grade class at the Osgood School of Peshaw, Peshaw. At the Osgood School, and um, they just can't get enough of us, so we just keep coming back. And uh, we have them waiting on board here, and I have Frank with me. Frank, what's your last name? Burke. Frank Burke, and I have Kara, is that right? Yes. Kara, what's your last name? Elling. Elling? Yes. So Kara and Frank, you ready to play the game? Yes. yes. Okay, this is how it works. I'm going to ask you a question, okay. and if you're not sure, you can confer with one another. That means, you know, you can whisper to one another and try to get the right answer, okay? Yes. You ready? Yes. From what movie did the song come from that went something like this? Look out for Mr. Stork. Dumbo? Yeah. <laughs> Carrie, you didn't confer. <laughs> it was my singing that didn't it, did it, didn't it? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Sure. You there you go. <laughs> He's impressed. Frank is impressed. <laughs> Easily impressed, I see. <laughs> hey, that was tough. <clears throat> okay, we have Alicia and Mike. Alicia, what's your last name? Hall. Alicia Hall and Mike? Mike. Darty. Mike Darty. Okay, guys, we have a question for you. You ready? Your question is Scar, Nala, Pumba, and Timon are all characters from what movie? Lion King. You're right, Alicia. Very good. Here you go. Thanks. I don't know. I'm in kind of a singing mood today. Aren't you the lucky ones? And we have Keith. Keith, what's your last name? Hasty. Hasty? Yeah. Okay. And Tanya, what's your last name? Burkano. Burkano. Tanya and Keith. Are you ready to put your minds together? Yes. Okay. Here goes. I know. You can't wait for me to sing again. <laughs> Here it comes. Following the leader is a catchy tune from what popular movie? Do you remember? Following the lead. Peter Pan. Hey! It's my singing that does it this is Sure. She watches Peter Pan every day. Every day? Well, that must have been a real shoe-in for you. There you go, Tanya. Thanks for being on the show. Well, I, I don't know if I can possibly live up to that singing um, on, on, on this particular question, but um, here goes. We have our next two contestants. We have Stephanie. What's your last name, Stephanie? Kim. Stephanie Kim. And I'm going to let her pronounce her name. Your name is, honey? Shawi Wang. That's a beautiful name, Shawi Wang. Very nice. Are you girls ready to play the game? Yes. OK. I have a question for you. <laughs> I don't know if I should let Joanne take it. She's in this singing thing today. Your question is the song, Kiss the Girl, is from what Walt Disney movie? They're conferring. Snow White. Wait, wait. I'm going to get Joanne. Joanne, come on over here and give us your Sam Wright impersonation. Come on and kiss the girl. What movie? Wait, wait. Sitting there across the way. Hey, I thought this was my time. Oh, oh sorry, sorry. <laughs> wait, give she me don't a got second a lot chance to say. <laughs> we don't know the words. <laughs> but you what? don't even know it. Well, I don't know. <laughs> All right, girls. I, I, can't. <laughs> you know, I, get, I guess they've I done their best, but I appreciate <laughs> the fact that you respect one another enough to discuss it before answering the question. Stephanie, shall we? Not quite the right answer, but I'll tell you, you had the right, right film company. It, it is a Disney movie. Thanks, Thanks for girls. This is great. Okay, we get to sing again. Okay, ready? Get ready. Come on over here. Ready? Okay. okay. All right. You heard us talking with the girls, right? Yeah. Yeah, okay. And, and 
They weren't quite sure of the answer, but they were really trying. They were really thinking. They were taking the clues. They were taking everything into consideration. Lewis, what's your last name? Barrero. Barrero? Yeah. Good. I got, I got that one right. And who do we have here? Melissa. Melissa what? Dunn. Melissa Dunn and Louis Barrero. Uh, here comes your question. Mary's going to help me out. Here she is. I can, I can feel her breathing on my neck, this hot, sticky breathing. Uh, yep, she's right here. The song is called Kiss the Girl. It's from what Walt Disney movie? OK, here goes the clue. See, see, see they, 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 no, they, they just want us to sing They just want us to sing. OK, ready, Mary? Go ahead. Okay. Sitting there across the way, she don't got a lot to say. I don't know any more words to the song, so, so kiss go. the girl. <laughs> <laughs> no idea, huh? I think we're blowing it up. Wait, go ahead, Louis. The mermaid. Yes. Yeah! <laughs> the little mermaid. <laughs> All right, you did it. Thanks for being on the show. OK, we have two more contestants and hopefully no more singing. We have Michael. Michael, what's your last name? Coates. Michael Coates. And Leighton? Leighton. Leighton. What's your last name? McClellan. McClellan. You guys ready for your question? Yes. OK. Your movie question is, Arnold Schwarzenegger plays an undercover cop teaching school in what hit movie? Kindergarten Cop. That's right. You did it. <laughs> Thanks, guys. That was good answering. I didn't know that question. OK. You didn't know that one either? No, so he's, he's pretty smart, huh? Yeah. He's that he watches too many movies. <laughs> he must have a membership over at like one of those uh, video rental places. Daniel, <laughs> Daniel, what's your name? Your last name? Enyan. Say it again. Enyan. Enyan. Yeah. Oh, okay. And Kristen, what's yours? Costello. Costello. Kristen Costello. Daniel, Kristen, here is your question. It is a movie question. Okay. Listen closely. Prince Philip. Princess Aurora. Flora, Fauna, and Meriwether are all characters of what Walt Disney movie? <laughs> Flora, Fauna, and Meriwether are fairies. Cinderella. That's a good guess. You know what, Kristen? Mm -hmm. I think we're going to send it over to the boys over there and see if they can help you. I think I know. Um, Snow White. I know. No. I know. <laughs> I don't know the but name. you know something? I have to be honest. I always get these three mixed up. You said Cinderella, you said Snow White, and there's one other one, and I always get oh, them confused. Oh, I don't know. I know it. <laughs> I know it. Sleep and Beauty. Yeah, do it again. Sleep and Beauty. Yes. <laughs> See, they're a lot alike. You get those confused all the time, too. Me, too. OK, yes, it was Sleeping Beauty. Remember Flora, Fauna, and Meriwether with the funny little fairies with the pointy hats? <laughs> Excellent. No, anymore. Well, we have two more contestants. We have Joseph and David. Joseph, your last name? Stewart. Joseph Stewart. And I think I'm going to let Joseph hold the microphone, because he seems like a professional. And David? Mulcrey. David Mulcrey. Hi, guys. Hello. I think you have a new, uh, a new uh, reporter here for Medford <laughs> Community Kids. He's got to wait a he few, knows mo his, few more he years. Knows his stuff. Oh, because my, my uncle has a beer down in it is my um, cellar. So I go down and he lets me hold the microphone with my friend Mike Riley upstairs. Excellent. And you practice. Mm -hmm. Are you going to be in a band or are you going to be on t Are you going to be in a news show? Are you going to be a reporter? What are you going to do? I don't know. You don't know. You're still thinking about it? Yes. OK. Well, we'll give you some time to decide. In the meantime, we have a question for you guys. You ready? OK. In the Jungle Book, can you name the tiger who was chasing Mowgli? Scar. Different movie. Different movie. Mm, nope. Uh -huh. How about you? Do you know David? One thing you got to learn, never hold the microphone like this. Oh, no. I, I know it's a That's a different movie, but that was a good guess. Scratch me? 
Scratch no. me. Excellent. There you go. That's the new Disney movie, isn't it, Mary? <laughs> I believe it is. All right, we're winding up with the third grade class here at the Osgood School, and I have with me Gabriella and the one, the only, uh, Mrs. Lynch. Hi. All right, let's try it again. Mrs. Lynch. Yay! <laughs> If you want stars on your papers, kids, <laughs> get a cheer. Gabriella, what's your last name? Howard. Howard. And you and Mrs. Lynch are going to try and find the answer to this haunting question that the fellers over there just couldn't quite get right. I'm going to ask it to you again. First, I'd like to ask Mrs. Lynch, how are these group of kids? Are they a good class? They're a wonderful group of class. I enjoy coming to school every day. We, we, we heard her rehearsing that out in the hall before the show. <laughs> No, they do. They seem like a great bunch. Is third grade, um, you know, any any different than the other younger grades? I mean, do they really show a different uh, oh, personality? Third grade, third grade's a fun grade because, well, they already know how to read and write, but we have multiplication and they learn how to hand write, cursive writing. And uh, I like to do a lot of plays, so we're going to do maybe a Christmas play. Oh, yeah. So, yeah, that's right. They did. I, I wasn't sure what grade you started learning how to do the handwriting, but that's exciting. You guys excited about learning how to write in cursive writing? Yeah. Yeah, so fancy and everything, all grown up. And, and you're going to start doing plays. So the, I guess they, they, they have a better memory for lines and things like right. that at they this age. Right, they have to do a lot of things when they do a play. That's great, you guys. Well, listen, Gabrielle, I hope you can help Mrs. Lynch get the answer to this this question and here it goes okay you ready yeah. name the tiger this particular scary kind of tiger had a name <clears throat> in the movie the jungle book this tiger wanted to eat Mowgli do you remember his name Scar that's a different movie do you remember what movie Scar is from what movie is Scar from the Lion, the Lion King she was worried she wouldn't know anything <laughs> okay yes Scar is from the movie the Lion King who is this Simba no, That's no. also The Lion King. Oh. We're looking for the, the tiger from the movie Jungle Book. Um, let's see. Do you remember Mowgli? He was a little boy in the Jungle Book. Mm -hmm. Who was the tiger that was always trying to eat him? Tell you what, is there someone in the class that knows? Oh. Louis, are you sure you know? Well, come on over. I want you to come on over. I want you to whisper the answer, Lewis, into Mrs. Lynch's ear. Oh, he does know. Say it again, Lewis. Shere Khan? Shere Khan. Oh, Lewis, oh, you did it. <laughs> All right, and pencils for everyone. Terrific. Thank you very much. That's exciting. Okay. Well, folks, I'm going to wrap up here at the Osgood School at Mrs. Lynch's third grade class. What's up, Mayor? Oh, nothing. Well, um... <laughs> All right. If I never... Well, baby, maybe you should. Excuse me? We... <laughs> We have our questions here. We're all set. We're happy. No standing questions here at the third grade class in the Osgood School. We want to thank Mrs. Lynch. We want to thank the principal. Who's the principal, gang? Mr. Zampel. Mr. Zampel for letting us come in today. And I'm sorry? He's taking uh, Mr. Donovan's place. And we'd all like to wish Mr. Donovan a speedy recovery and wish he'd come back soon. Okay, yeah. Get well fast. Get well fast, says Mrs. Lynch. And um, please don't go away. We're going to be coming right back at you from the Meadow Glen Mall and uh, with lots more questions, lots more contestants, and tons of unbelievable prizes. So don't go away. Because I'm a new mom, my New Year's resolution would have to be to lose as much weight as I possibly can because I have all these great, fabulous, beautiful bathing suits from California coming this spring. New Year's resolution, Dick Kaczynski, uh, to make more money, right? More sales. Take it easy. Hi, and thank you for tuning in. This is Totally Trivia. We are here at the Meadow Glen Mall in Medford. I'm Joanne. This is Mary. Hi. How you doing, Mary? Cool. We're a little duded up. You know, this is our New Year's program, and uh, you look kind of snazzy tonight. Thanks. I'm all dressed up. I get my 
Bee Gees necklace on. <laughs> yes, you are due to that, aren't you? You know she's ready to go, and she has her Bee Gees necklace on, and we're ready to go, too. We are Totally Trivia, as I said before, and we are Boston's very own trivia game show, and it's so easy to win. All you have to do is pick one of three categories, and if you get that question right, I will give you a fabulous prize from numerous merchants throughout Medford. We. Oui. Uh, yeah, all right. We. Oui. We will give you a fabulous prize. And just to show you how it works, we're going to bring on our first contestant, and we have Eric. Hi. How you doing, Eric? Good. Step right in. How are you? Good. How are you? Very well. What's your last name? Uh, Fleming. Eric Fleming. And yeah. if you, you from the area? Yeah. Where are you from? Uh, Reading, Mass. And what do you do for a living? I'm a student. You're a student. Where do you go to school? California. Wow. So you're home for the holidays? Yeah. You ready to win a prize? Yeah. Okay. Here are your categories. Music, movies, or television? I'll take television. Okay. Ah, we have a standing TV question. Your question is, David Jansen played a cop turned private eye in what early 70s crime show? Harry O? Yeah. That was it. <laughs> Did you watch him? Yeah, well, no, but my brother and sister. Big, big like Harry O like fan? I have a prize for you, but you're from California, but you're, um, let me see. Ah, the perfect gift. This is a gift certificate for Dapper Dance. So whenever you come back into town, you can take a, a friend or family member out to eat at Dapper Dance. This is an Assembly Square Mall in Somerville. It's a very nice restaurant. Fabulous food. Mary will tell you. She loves it over there. Sizzling fajitas. <laughs> Congratulations. Thank you. You're very welcome. Go see Margaret. She'll give you a prize. And we're ready for our next contestant. We have Diana. How you doing, Diana? Oh, yep. Come right in the middle here. Step right in. All right. How are you? Good. How are you? Good. What's your last name, Diana? Stavridis. And you're from the area? Uh, yes, I just got back from California. Another California person. Did you know Eric? Yes, I did. We went on exchange together. <laughs> oh, there you go. Okay, you ready to play the game? Yep, I'm ready. Music, movies, or television? Um, I'll take television, please. Okay. We have a holiday question left over, too. Uh -oh. On the special, Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer, who wants to be a dentist? Herbie the Elf. <laughs> I couldn't believe they didn't get it last week. Yes. Yes. Don't you remember they were misfits, yep. right? Okay. Oh, we got, well, mm, should I give her that uh, one? Oh, come on. I know she saw it. She's, oops, she saw the box. <laughs> do you know that place? Yeah. Ooh, yeah. She read the card. We were looking at good times. Oh, what do you think? I just went, oh, no, what about this one? Yeah, that's cool. Okay. <laughs> we have a gift certificate for Marshalls. Thank Marshalls you. right here in the Meadow Glen Mall, and that's for you. All Thanks right. for playing the game. Thank you very much. You're very welcome. Okay, and we're going to bring up another contestant real quick, Barry. We're going to introduce you to him. Come on over here, Barry. Barry, what's your last name? Where? Barry Ware. Well, Barry Ware, hang out with Mary and I because we have to go to a commercial, but we'll be right back and we'll play Totally Trivia with you, okay? All right. Uh, do you know what we do to people when we uh, go to commercial, Barry? No, what do you do? Oh, it doesn't hurt. Don't worry about it. All right. We'll be back right after this. 1995 is going to be a year that I am going to do the most traveling. I want to do Hong Kong, I want to do the Middle East, and it's going to be an exotic year for me. Yes, my resolution for 1995 is to bring to the citizens of Medford awareness of their auto coverages and homeowners coverages. And we're back with Barry Ware and... <laughs> Barry, for goodness sakes, get yourself together. This is television. All right. Uh, okay. You made it all right? Yeah. It wasn't too bad, was it? No, not bad at all. <laughs> Here's your categories, music, movies, or television. Uh, I'll choose music. Okay. Okay. We have a holiday music question left over, too. A surprise. Surprise, surprise. <laughs> Don't peek. Oh, he's peeking. Uh-oh. <laughs> Finish this Christmas song. I'll be home for Christmas if only... In my dreams. Yeah. That's it. <laughs> yeah, okay, they're happy yeah. for you. I actually have a, a music prize. Great. I hope you like this, Barry. If I can find it, it is here. It is right here somewhere. <laughs> it is, Mary. She tells me it's in alphabetical order, and there we go. It's a Kiss 108 mix of CDs, a mix pack of CDs Great. featuring the uh, soundtrack from Mix Nuts. And there's several others in there. You take that over yes. to Margaret. She's going to give Do you have a CD player? Yeah, I do. There you go. Right. Thanks for playing the game, Mary. Thank you. Okay. Fabulous. Okay. Well, before we go to our next contestant, I did want to tell you, Mary, we have a bonus question winner. Excellent. Yeah. Every week we, uh, we add another prize to our bonus jackpot until we can get an answer to one of our very difficult 
bonus questions. And uh, only the folks who write in can participate in this. So you folks at home, you have a chance to win as well. So that's coming up a little later on. We're going to go to our next contestant, which is Andrea. How you doing, Andrea? Hi, good. And your last name? Palumbo. Are you a student? Yeah. Where do you go to school? Uh, Boston College. Boston College, very good. OK, you ready to play the game? Mm hmm Music, movies, or television? Uh, music. Another music oh, question. OK, your music question is, Hall & Oates have had six number one hits. Can you name one? Um, Method of Love? No? Nope. I lost. <laughs> You never lose on Totally Trivia. No, 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 no. First of all, if you were wondering what this was, it is my packet of pencils. And we're going to give you a very snazzy, along with a co dress code here tonight, a Totally Trivia pencil. Color Isn't that awesome? Thing. And it matches her sweater. Yes, it does. And not only that, but Freshens Yogurt will give you a two-for-one coupon just for being a contestant on the show oh, tonight. Thank you. So go on over to Margaret. She'll give you a coupon. Hey, never a... Never a Loser on Totally Trivia. Always, always, always winner. winner. Always a winner. Okay, Doris, Jennifer, Ruth, and Caitlin, come on on. Oh, we got the gang. Come on, girls. Let's go. Uh, wait. Let's get you right up in front here. There we go. Mom in the back. We'll start with you. We'll go first and last name and how old you are. Jennifer and a King, and I'm eight years old. I'm Caitlin King, and I'm nine years old. Lucy Rosantis and I'm eight years old. Okay, I hope you all got that at home. And you are? Doris King. Doris King. And you're 21? Yes. Yes, okay. And this is Mary over here. Everybody say hi to Mary. Hi, Mary. Hello. She's going to ask you your question. First, you have to pick a category. Kids, who's going to pick? Okay, music, movies, or television? Movies? <laughs> movies. It is movies, Mary. Okay. Your movie question is, what 1993 movie starred Sylvester Stallone as a mountain climber? Uh, I think Mom might be able to help you. Flipping. Yeah. Good. Say hooray for Mom. Hooray. Terrific. <laughs> okay. Guess what? What's what? a movie question? Absolutely. What did they get, Mary, when they uh, won a movie question? Movie passes. Yes! Yes! Oh, okay. <laughs> okay, if I could just find them. <laughs> but I never fail. There you go. You take that over to Margaret Girls, and you get a couple of free movie passes for the Sony Low Cinema and some of them. Isn't that great? I think. I think they're pleased. <laughs> <laughs> then Mom can buy the other ticket, and you can all go. <laughs> Thanks so much for being on the show. Go right over there. Margaret will have your prize for you. Thanks, kids. And we have Jason and Maria. Uh, let me guess. Jason, right? Yep. Oh. You're <laughs> Am amazing. I? I know. I scare myself. Jason, what's your last name? Cardozo. And how old are you? Ten. You're ten. And is this mom? This mom. And your name? Maria. Maria Cardozo? Cardozo right. Okay. Here comes the categories, gang. Music, movies, or television? Television. Okay. Okay, your TV question is, actress Terry Farrell plays the character Dax, a trill, on what science fiction show? Mm. Is it a nighttime show? Early evening. Yeah. Popular right now on Absolutely. television? Absolutely. Popular show. What do you think, Mom? Can you help him? I don't think so. <laughs> What's a popular sci fi show on TV right now? Mm. What channel? Mm. What channel? Weird Science. <laughs> what is it? Weird Science. That was a good guess. What was it? Weird Science? Mm. No. But you know what time it is, right, Jason? Pencil time. I'm going to give you a totally trivia pencil. That's for you and one for Mom. And go on Thank over you. to see Margaret. She's going to give you a gift certificate for Freshens Yogurt so you can buy a two-for-one yogurt. Thank you. You're very welcome. Thanks for being on the show. Bye, Jason. Okay. we got to go away to a commercial. Please don't touch that dial. We'll be right back with the bonus question winner and a brand-new bonus question right after these messages. Awesome. For 1995, my New Year's resolution is going to be to get all of my stories in on time. Happy New Year. Oh. Hi. My New Year resolution is going to be to keep all the TVs and VCRs in Medford operating properly so you all can watch Totally Trivia. Have a good 1995. Yes, and we are back. Hello, Mayor. In case you're just tuning in, we are Totally Trivia. Boston's favorite trivia game show. Absolutely. Having fun? 
tons. <laughs> We're ready for it. Mike, Jay, and Donna. Come on on, folks. Okay. We'll put Donna in front. I know. Oh, well, th they're, are these your sons? He is. He's just a good friend. And they just, you know, mm -hmm. growing boys. Yes, they are. Okay, Donna, what's your last name? Hussey. Okay, and your name is? Jay Hussey. And? Michael Cedroni. And what schools do you go to, guys? St. Francis. St. Francis, both of you? Yep. St. Francis here in Medford. Very good. Okay, guys, here's your category. Music, movies, or television? Movies. 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 Hey, your movie question is, what actress played Jack Nicholson's wife in the movie The Shining? <laughs> Mom? <laughs> I have no idea. Oh. Any guess? No clue. <laughs> they give up there. It's a tough one. It is a tough one. We hate to stump you guys, but you know the rule. If you don't get the question right, you can always come back again. You try, try again here on Tully Trivia until you actually win a, a big prize. I know winning a pencil is fabulous enough Thank in, you it, very in and of much. itself. <laughs> You're very welcome. Go on over to see Margaret. She'll give you a coupon for Freshens Yogurt, and we're ready for our next contestant, Aaron, Kate, and Jim. Aaron, Kate, and Jim. Hey, here comes Jim. Jim, step in the back. And are you Erin? Mm hmm And what's your last name, Erin? Hussey. How old are you? I'm 10. Okay. Uh, Caitlin Cedroni, and I'm 11. I don't have to give my age. Oh, yes, you do. Oh. Your face is plastered all over the television. You might as well just own Jim up to Hussey. it. Jim no Okay. <laughs> They've split up. They know how to get the prizes around Divide here. Okay. Music. <laughs> really? Music, movies, or television? Music. Okay. Ooh, Darren. Hey. We have a standing music question. Uh-uh. Hall and Oates <laughs> have had six number one hits. Can you name one? <laughs> Come on, Dad. <laughs> um. I'm going to give a hint. I know everyone's knees start shaking when I, when I mention the word hint. They did a remake of a Righteous Brothers hit. <laughs> well, that start was, loving children. Yes. <laughs> that wasn't one of their number one hits, so. <laughs> I thought it was. <laughs> it was the right group, though. Absolutely. <laughs> Oh, well, what does that mean? Am I penalized? Do I have to give them two pencils each? I'm sorry, you guys. We tried. I was rooting for you. That's for you. Tell each of you a pencil. Show all your friends. Do your homework. And that's for you. And go on over to see Margaret. She'll give you a fresh and yogurt coupon. Thanks for being on the show. You know, I don't, I try, I really do. I love giving away prizes. It's my, it's my... Speaking of giving away prizes. Thrill in life. Okay, yes, you're right. We have the bonus question winner here. Why don't you tell them what the question was? Okay. Just to review, the bonus question was... From last week. The bonus question from the last week was... That we read from the Chrysler showroom. <laughs> who are the Toxic Twins? The Toxic Twins. That was the question. Yes, indeed, that was. Yes. And we have a winner. Yes, drum roll, please. The winner was... Actually, we had several winners. I mean, several people wrote in with the correct response, but this particular winner was the one that we drew from all the right answers. <laughs> Can I go on now? Uh, sure. Well, don't let me stop you. Congratulations <laughs> to Trish Sullivan of Tewksbury. Yes. Let's hear it for Trish. Yay! She wrote in and she knew that the answer was Steven Tyler and Joe Perry of Aerosmith are also known as the Toxic Twins. That's right. And Trish, you win a free oil change at the Caddy Shack located on Mystic Avenue in Medford. And that's a really neat prize cool. because chances are she, Trish has a car oh, or knows someone who does and who can't use an oil change. Keep the car running smoothly and they're expensive. And that's free, just just for trying out the services over at the Caddy Shack and Mystic Avenue Medford. So congratulations, Trisha. Thanks for writing in. Uh, do you want to give them the new bonus question, or you want to keep them hanging? Shall I? Oh, go ahead. OK. The new question is, what do Peter Frampton, Aerosmith, Alice Cooper, Earth, Wind, and Fire, and the Bee Gees have in common? I know this is tough, but if you know the answer, I'll be your friend forever. <laughs> Send it to me, Mary the Great, care of Totally Trivia, Post Office Box 45, Medford, Mass, 02155. Get them in, get them in, get them in, and... Win. Yeah. Do it. Do what it. What are they going to win? I think we'll put in, what do you think, a couple of tickets to Sony Low Cinema this week? Excellent idea. We're going to throw in a couple of tickets to the movies this week. So send in your answer and get free passes to the movies. Now we have CJ, Matt, Pam, and Marissa. Here they come. Okay, come on over here. Come on in front. There you go. Okay, we'll start with you. We need to see your face. Your first and last name, and how old are you? Well, 
Matthew Mulcahy. Matthew Mulcahy, and how old are you? Seven. Eight. Eight, Eight. just turned. And you are? CJ Mulcahy, and I'm 11 years old. 11, and you are? I think you're Marissa. Yeah. Mulcahy, age three. Oh, not bad, and you are? Pam Mulcahy. Hi, Pam Mulcahy. So this is the Mulcahy family. Music, movies, or television, gang? TV. TV. Mary? Okay, we have a standing TV question. Your question is, actress Terry Farrell plays the character Dax, a trill on what science fiction show? Go ahead. Go ahead. Give it a guess. You never know. Weird Science. What is? Is this a? New, is this a movie you're talking or a TV yeah, show? We, we weird, weird Science is a TV show now. I don't know. That's not the right answer, you guys. I know it was a movie. I guess they moved turn it into a TV show. We're looking for something different, but that's okay. Take your pencils, guys. Grab them. Grab them. One for everyone. There you go. And thanks for being on the show. All right. Go on over to see Margaret. She'll give you gifts to get. We gotta go away, but we'll be right back. So don't touch your dial. More prizes, more contestants, more fun-filled moments with Mary and I. There you go, right after this. <laughs> my New Year's resolution is to study hard and make the best of my second semester at college in Indiana. I would have to say my New Year's resolution would have to be to obtain an Otis Wagner baseball rookie card and for those pages to win the Super Bowl, hopefully. They are breaking down the doors, Mary. We gotta get them on in quick. Right. We have Doreen, Dina, Pam, and Melissa. Come right in between us. Oh, there you go. Come on, kids. Skinny up. Okay, first and last name in your age? Melissa Larson, 13. Dina Battlewee, 14. Doreen Ashton. 10. I like that. <laughs> Pam Battlini, military secrets. <laughs> All right, are you ready to pick a category? Movies. Wait, 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 wait. I gotta give them to you first. Music, movies, or television? Movies. Okay. Hey, your movie question is what actress played Jack Nicholson's wife in the movie The Shining? Shelley Duvall. That's it. They knew. All right, you know what? You guys are gonna love me. Wait till you see what I give you. I have a gift certificate for Good Times and some of them. This is Good Times Emporium. They're psyched. And this is for dinner for two, but you can split it. Buy one of those appetizer things. $10 <laughs> worth of free tokens and two hours of free pool. Yes. There you go, guys. Go on over to see Margaret. She'll give you a prize. Oh, thank you very much. They're going to run you over. Same thank to you, you folks. Thanks for being on the show. No, <laughs> okay, Howard, where are you? Here. here comes Howard. Hi, Howard. Hi. We saw you hanging out. You've been waiting to get on? Yeah, for a while. Okay, what's your last name? Madnick. And what do you do for a living? Um, I just got through being a student. I finished my master's over at Tufts. Just finished, like when? Uh, November. Oh, congratulations, Thank Howard. You. What, do you, what did you uh, major in? International relations. Oh, wow. Are you going to be traveling? I hope so. Good, good. Well, we hope to give you a prize to send you off on your travels. Well, I and, hope uh, to so take one. First, you got to pick a category. Music, movies, or television? Uh, television, please. Okay. Okay, your TV question is, actress Terry Farrell plays the character Dax, a trill on what science fiction television show? I never miss it. Star Trek Deep Space Nine. Yeah. I thought that was two separate shows. Oh, no, it's a long title of one show. Okay, well, you won. Thank you. And you know what? I think I'm going to give you, this is, this is courtesy of Grava Chrysler. Don't get it too excited. You didn't win a car. <laughs> <laughs> but you did win. This is the uh, NBA Jam Session. You can't buy this in a store. This is a promotional item that is um, just courtesy of the guys over at Grava. And it's both, um, what is it? It's a, VH a CD. It's a CD and a VHS uh, tape for you. Oh, wow. With all sorts of stuff from the NBA, and that's yours for being on the show. Oh, fantastic. Thanks a lot. You're very welcome. Thanks for being on the show. All right. Well, we got to go away again. We hate to do this to you, but we have wonderful sponsors that hang in there, watch uh, the commercials, and come right back. Don't go away. We have more fun right here on Totally Trivia. We do. Awesome. It's Anthony at Riverside Deli. My New Year's resolution is I'm going to quit smoking this year. And everybody have a nice New Year's. Come and see me for some hot chocolate. Thank you. Cut. My New Year's resolution for 1995 is to have enough Big Macs to feed Lance. They're coming up on it. They don't, yeah, they don't care. Yeah, so what See what they do to us? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> We're back. And you know, please, Cal, going to take me away. We have Billy Joe, Pat, and Jessica. 
folks, if you want to know what goes on here <laughs> when, when we go away to commercial, you have to come down and be on the show. Hi, okay, who do we have? First and last name? Leo. Jessica Neal. Jessica Neal, and how old are you? Six. You're six, and you are? Billy Joe. Billy Joe Neal? McLean. McLean, and you are how old? Ten. Ten, and? Pat McLean, and no age. Okay, Pat McLean, I respect that. Music, movies, or television, folks? Television. Okay. Okay, your TV question is, singer Cindy Greco sang the song, Making Our Dreams Come True. It was the theme for what 70s television show? Oh, think about it. Sing it for him, Mayor. Go ahead. One, two, oh, one, two, three. No, it's, how does they start that thing? We're going to do it, right? Yeah. But they start it. Tell, tell her it was the voice. What a great hit, It was though. the voice, wasn't it? <laughs> yes, it was Laverne and Shirley, absolutely. And gang, let me see what I have for you. Okay, very good. I have a gift certificate for Riverside Deli, which is at uh, 30, 38 Riverside Avenue in Medford Square. Do you know where, that, where it is? Do you know the place? Yep. Riverside Deli, great home cook, cooking over there. Anthony will take care of you. Go on down, have yourself a meal, and incidentally, that's where we're going to be next week. We're going to be at Riverside Deli, Excellent. shooting the show from inside. Thanks for being Yay. on the show. Go see Margaret. She'll give you a gift. So come on in out of the cold, have a cup of hot cocoa or hot coffee, and join us. Meatloaf and potatoes for supper next week. Comfort food. Gotta love Excellent. it. You gotta love it. I have Jim, Chris, John, and Carla. You're next on Totally Trivia. Oh, is this John over here? Yeah. John, you look a little pooped. Come on in this way. Well, we'll, we'll let me see. We got everybody's face in here? Okay. Why don't you tell me how old is he? Um, three. He's three, and your name is? Christine. Last name, Christine? McLean. And how old? Twelve. Twelve. Kyle Pedrino, eleven. Okay. Jim Bruno, don't ask my age. I want Jim, you know, just the kids. Just the kids. Jim, what do you do for a living? Uh, I own Method Auto School. Very good. Very one of our one of our sponsors. All right. Best All right. In the yeah, okay. Music, movies, or television gang? TV. TV? Okay. Jim says TV. What? We don't have that for a category, John. Come on, get with the program. It's music, wow. movies, or television. Okay. Your TV question okay. is. TV. He says TV. Okay. Actor Conrad Bain played stepfather to Willis and Arnold on what television show? Willis and Arnold. What you talking about, Willis? Tick, 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 Come on, tick, Angela. Tick, uh, not Green Acres. Ah! <laughs> Little, it, not, it, not that far back. Can I hear the question again one more time? Sure. Actor Conrad Bain played stepfather to Willis and Arnold on what television show? Oh, I know what it is, too. I just can't remember. I'm going blank. Well, listen, uh, give me what, a second. What you talking about, Willis? Come on, girls. Did that. Oh, sorry. Good times? Good no. times? Was a, no. It was a good guess. It was a good guess. Wasn't the right guess, though, girls. But you know what? Take heart. You can come back again. You know the rules. Have yourself a totally trivia pencil and a wonderful new year. And wait, little John, one for you, too. Okay, Go on over and see Margaret. She'll give you a gift certificate. Uh, good for two for one at Fresh and Yogurt. Thanks for being on the show. All right. Well, you know what, Mary? I just said it. Have, have a happy new year. I cannot believe 1994 is is almost kaput. And it was such an excellent year, too. It was an excellent year. It was an excellent year for us. Cool. We started this program back in June. It's been six months. And a whirlwind. It has been a whirlwind. And there is just so many people to thank, and, and we, we touched upon this a little bit last week, but without the sponsors, without the contestants, the show just wouldn't be what it is. And it's it's been so exciting. Yeah, you know... He's got a point there. Lance is waving wildly in the background. Without Lance, Totally Trivia just wouldn't be what it is today. And um, it's it's been so exciting because I because I just feel the respect, you know, that we get from our contestants. And uh, anyway, I do want to thank Pixie Costume especially and and uh, Riverside Deli because last week when we did our show at the Gravit Chrysler Showroom, they supplied uh, pizza. The pizza. That was Riverside Deli, not Pixie Costume, although, you know, they yeah. liked the pizza, but they didn't supply the pizza. And the Santa Costume was supplied by, um, by Santa and Pixie Costume. Yeah, well, they dry clean it for him, you know. Excellent. So that was courtesy of uh, both Pixie Costume and Riverside Deli. And, you know, we thank them bunches Heart. and bunches. And they've, Heartfelt things. they've done tons of stuff for us. Um, constantly, whenever we need a costume for the Halloween show, Pixie Costume was there. They whenever were. we needed food, Anthony's right there to feed us. 
What would we do without you? It's, it touches you right here, you know what I mean? All right, let's not get for clumped. We have a show to do. Pull it together. So please, we want to wish all of you uh, a happy new year, an excellent 1995, and we we hope for that continued support from the sponsors here in Medford and, and in Somerville and in Everett and Malden and all the other new cities that we're going to be being seen on. So we are ready to take on our next contestant. It's Jim and John. Could you feel the sincerity, Mary? Could you just, wow. could you feel that sincerity? I wanted to be nice. Uh, sincerely. Sincerity. Right in here. Okay, let me see. Let me see. Let me see. Wait, wait. John. Yep. <laughs> Unbelievable. Psychic. John, what's your last name? Stratton. And you are? I don't want to say my last name. Jim. Jim X. I will make one up for you. Mary will make a real stupid right. one up for you. Uh oh. Come on. Jim Kemp. All right. I guess I'll buy it. How old are you guys? Same age? No, he's older than me. How old? 18. 18? How old? I'm only 17. Who's driving? I am. Are you driving yet? No? Mm. I fail. <laughs> hey. Uh -oh. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. Okay, music, movies, or television, guys? <laughs> oh. Uh, can I? Can I do uh, it? I never get to do it. Television. Television. Okay, man. Okay, we have a standing TV question. Actor. Different strokes. Hey! <laughs> <laughs> and it was cemented. I will pull it down over there. It's not cemented. I don't think about it. Hey! Can I finish I'm my sorry, question? Sorry, You got the glamorous tonight. <gasps> Why, thank you. <laughs> they do. I, I think it's, it's, it's my necklace. Cheap prices. It's my, it's my I necklace. Just got, right? I just got one. But Did you see that? Hi, Peter. Hi, Peter. He's, he's trying to steal a pencil. How? Oh. Do the question for the folks at home. Okay, okay. Okay! Actor Conrad Bain played stepfather to Willis different and jokes. Arnold different on Dif what jokes? television Silver show? Spoon. Different jokes. <laughs> there you go. It was different strokes. Yes, it was. Wait, but wait. I'm uh, going to give you first. I have a good one. No, 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 no. Hey. Wait, I know just the one right here. Ronnie's cool. Place. Oh, you'll each get a pizza. Hey, you'll like it. You'll eat it. And right. you'll come back for more. I worked there. Ronnie's, yeah. Two large pieces free. <laughs> Ronnie's Place. Salem Street in Medford, yes. Two large pieces free. Ronnie's famous 18-inch pizzas. And you each get one. 18 okay, inches. so. 18 inches. 18 inches. A lot more than you could even fathom. Hey, guys, <laughs> thanks for being on the show. Go over to see Margaret. She'll give you a gift certificate. Okay, listen. We're going to go away. But we have another contestant for you and more prizes, so don't go away. We'll be back right after these fine messages. More fun. In 1995, I promised to be good and do all my homework. Hi, I'm Rick Gallagher, Jr. As my New Year's resolution, I'm going to try to get Vinnie to be nice to the citizens of Medford. And my New Year's resolution is to try to get everyone in Medford to come and appear on Totally Trivia and to win. Wow, so many prizes, so little time, Mary. Let's do it. we got to rock. David and Billy, come on on. Hi, you guys. How are you? And Hi. your first and last name? David LeClaire. And how old are you, David? I'm 12. And? Billy LeClaire. How old? Uh, 19. Okay, okay. <laughs> All right, guys. Music, movies, or television? Good. Television. Okay. Billy says television. No, David says David. David. David says television. Okay. Your TV question is, what was Maxwell Smart's agent number? 13. It's a good guess. Let's try Dad. 86. Hey! <laughs> Woo! He's awesome, huh? Yeah. All right. Listen, uh, Billy, I have a gift certificate for Riverside Convenience Store, okay? They are a lottery agent, and they're going to give you five free quick picks and five free mass millions, uh, no, five free scratch tickets and five free quick pick mass million tickets just for being a contestant on Totally Trivia and just for trying out Riverside Convenience Store. You gotta, you gotta split it with us, so. That's the only catch. Oh, yeah. I Mary has it written in right. fine print. You gotta split, split the win. winnings with her. Okay. Thanks so much for being on the show. Thank you. Congratulations. Margaret has your gift, gift for you, gift certificate. And we have Steve. Where are you, Steve? Yeah, yeah. Come on on, Steve. <laughs> Hi, Steve. Hi, how you doing? What's your last name? Glines. Steve Glines. Uh, mm -hmm. What do you do for a living, Steve? Uh, carpenter. Good. Carpenter. Okay. And you can always use some, maybe a free dinner or free car washes or something, right? Sure. Okay. Music, right. movies, or television? Uh, movies. Okay. Your movie question is, the cast of what movie included Michael Douglas, Ian Archer, and Glenn Close? Yeah. This put the fear in men for a very I long know. time. <laughs> uh, they got me on this one. Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Is it uh, not fatal trash? Yeah! All right. All right. Thanks. Yes! 
You did it. You Whoa. did it. Ooh. Okay, you know what? Let me see. What? Let me see what I got here. Uh, oh, yeah. Our friends over at Careers and Cuisine, you're going to like this. You live in the area. What city are you from? Ah, uh, Medford. Okay. This is Careers and Cuisine. They service about 20 different restaurants. Margaret has the big menu over there for you. Mm -hmm. These are restaurants that don't ordin ordinarily have takeout. Or a little on the, on the more upscale, mm -hmm. okay? This service goes out and gets you dinner and brings it hot to your door for you. Okay. So when it starts snowing or something, give them a call and they want to buy you dinner just for trying this service. Okay. All right? So All right. Thank you. You enjoy very that. Much. Okay. Thanks thank for being you. on the show. All right. All right. Ma Ma wait, where, wait, wait. wait. Oh, he'll find her. Come on, on Tanya, Crystal, Laurie, and Anthony. The phone number. The phone number. I don't know. 411. Cruise and Cuisine. <laughs> Hey, gang. Okay. I know you. Yes. What's your first and last name? Laura Amaral. And this is? Anthony. Anthony Amaral? Yes. Okay. And you are? Crystal Mezzo. And? Tanya McGilley. Okay. Gang, you ready to choose a category? Yeah. Music, movies, or television? Um, television. Okay. Okay. Your TV question is, Those Were the Days was the original name for what popular sitcom? Oh, one day at a time. Achibanka. But that's not the right name of the show. Oh, wait a minute. I know the name. What's the name of that? Achibanka. <laughs> Come on, you guys. All in the family. Yeah. The family. <laughs> you know what? I, I, it makes sense, but I, I didn't even think of that myself. That was very good. Girls, you deserve a very nice gift certificate. So therefore, I will reach into my bag of tricks here. Okay. I'm going to give you uh, Seafood Depot. They're located on High Street in Medford, in West Medford. Okay, awesome fish and chips, great scallops. Don't have to drive all the way to the ocean. Take that, go over to see Margaret. She'll give the gift certificate and enjoy good eating. Thank you. Thanks yeah. for being on the show. All right. Well, you know, we're going to come back in just a moment and wrap it up with our final contestant. And we'll reread that bonus question to you, our new one. Okay. And uh, so don't touch that dial. Please come right back. We're, we're going to be right here, honest. We won't go anywhere. No way. Hello, I'm Rick Gallagher Jr. and this is Vinny. Yeah, uh, shut up. I'll take care of this one, all right? I'm Vinny Capelli. I'm the CMB boy in Medford. You better watch out because I'm coming with this guy right here with our own version of the Wrestling Insiders. <laughs> We're rocking and rolling, and we're going to take our next contestant, our final contestant. It's Lauren and Joan. That's okay. They, they split up, spin around here. Thanks for hanging out with us. Step right up. And first and last name? Lauren McClare. And how old are you, Lauren? Ten. All righty. Joan McClare. All right, Joan. Thanks for being on the show. You're our final contestant tonight. We really hope that you win. Choose a category carefully now, music, movies, or television. Music. 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 We have a standing music question. Hall & Oates have had six number one hits. Can you name one? Man Eater. She's yeah. right. Yeah. Oh, I forgot we had that standing question. Yes, it was Man Eater. And you know what I'm going to give you? Just because you look like a kind of kid who would like this prize, I have a gift certificate for Burger King. Do you like Burger King? Yeah. Yeah, and this is the place that is a giant indoor park, and now that the weather is getting cold, you take that over to Margaret, she's going to give you some passes to Burger King, and you can take your mom and dad out, and do you have any brothers and sisters at home? Mm-hmm, a brother. A brother, take him out and have some fun, okay? Okay. All right, thanks for being on the show. Thank you. You're very welcome. Mary, we gave away a lot of prizes tonight. That's good. I like that. I love when that happens. Don't you? Okay, you want to reiterate that bonus question? Why, certainly. The bonus question is, what do Peter Frampton, Aerosmith, Alice Cooper, Earth, Wind & Fire, and the Bee Gees have in common? If you know the answer, write it in. It doesn't matter. On an index card, a recipe card, a, a, a Christmas card. Send it in to us at, send it to Mary the Great. She handles all that. P.O. Box 45, Medford, Mass, 02155. Get them in, get them in, get them in. And a win, win, win. We want to thank you so much for tuning in. Thank you for watching. We are going to be back again next week. Come join us if you can. We're going to be over at the Riverside Deli in Medford on, uh, what was it? 
30, 38. 38 Riverside Avenue. Come on in and join us. Get out of the cold. Have a hot cup of coffee, hot cocoa. In the meantime, for Mary and the rest of the Totally Trivia crew, I am Joanne. Thanks so much for wa watching. Don't forget to say your prayers. Bye-bye. Don't drink and drive.